expand the square root of 9 plus x up to and including the first four terms using the binomial theorem. So what well, problem here, we haven't got 1 plus x, to the square root of 1 plus x, but first of all, let's just carry on with what we would normally do and just write down 9 plus x to the power of our half. Now we can make this 1 plus x by factorizing out a 9. So we've got 9 uh, brackets 1 plus, and that becomes x over 9. If you think when you multiply back in, you're going to get 9, and then you're going to get 9x over 9, which is x. So you get back to what you started with. Now, the, this means take the square root of 9, which is 3. So this becomes 3 times 1 plus x over 9 to the power of half. We will now expand this bit well, using what we normally do. So expand it using 1 plus x to the n, 1 plus nx plus n times n over 1 times 2 factorial times x squared plus n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed, etc. We still got with n being equal to a half this time and x being equivalent to x over 9. We still got that 3 out in front, so 3 plus 1 plus x over 9 to the half will be 3. Big square bracket, 1 plus uh, n, which is a half times my value of x, which is x over 9, plus a half times minus a half over 2 factorial over x over 9 all squared plus a half times minus a half, take another one, which is minus three over two over three factorial, times x over nine, three cubed, so, uh, x over nine cubed, sorry. Just writing that out again. Okay, uh, so we've still got those three, one, we leave that the same. Now a half times minus a half divided by two factorial is minus one eighth. Here, uh, x over 9 all squared becomes x squared over 81. A half times minus a half times minus 3 over 2 over 3 factorial becomes a 1 16th, and this will become x cubed will be x cubed over 729. And then, uh, then doing this multiplication, so we get 1 plus x over 18 minus 1 eighth times x squared over 81 is x squared over 648 plus 1 16th times 779 will become x cubed over 11,664. Then multiplying through by 3, you still get 3 plus 3 x over 6 minus x squared over 216 plus x cubed over 3,888 and this will carry on. Now this is provided that x over 9 is between minus 1 and 1, which means that x would have to be between minus 9 and 9. So this is our final answer, and this is where it will converge. The series is uh, infinite. Okay, so this has been the video to show you how to expand uh, some a plus bx to the power of a half. We're trying to make that first number a 1. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.